So in this video, we'll be looking at component one, section B, understanding media industries and audiences. In this section, your time management skills are really gonna be put to the test. And as I go through this PowerPoint, you'll get to see why. So what do you need to know for this section? Well, you need to have studied Tide and WaterAid for advertising and marketing, and this will be audience questions only. You need to have studied Black Panther and I, Daniel Blake for the film and film marketing cross-media study, and this will be industry questions only, and you need to have studied at least one trailer and one poster for each, but you will study a lot more for these two films. For newspapers, you are looking at the Daily Mirror and the Times. You need to have studied at least one complete newspaper from the Mirror and the Times. You need to have studied some key pages from their website, including the home page and at least one other page. And again, you'll probably study a lot more than this. You'll probably look at social media and other things as well related to these two newspapers. For Late Night Woman's Hour, you need to look at two episodes and at least one extract from those two podcasts. And for video games, you will study the Assassin's Creed franchise, and at the very least, you should have studied at least one game in detail and at least one extract. To find more information about all these examples, if you go on the Mrs. Fisher channel, she has some very detailed videos going through each one of these with some really good examples. For this section, you only have 45 minutes. So your ability to time manage is vital. And this is what I mean. So if you have a two mark question, you are only gonna spend two minutes on that question. If you have a six mark question, you will only spend six minutes on it. If you have an eight mark question, eight minutes, 10 marks, 10 minutes, 12 marks, 12 minutes, 15 marks, 15 minutes. So this is how this section works. So your ability to time manage is vital. I've seen some very good students who overrun on section A and don't leave themselves enough time to answer some of the bigger questions and that could bring down grades. So let's have a look at some examples from each of different media industries. So let's have a look at this two mark question. Briefly explain what is meant by a mainstream film. So in two minutes, what can you realistically do? Well, probably two sentences at the most. So if you look at this example, a film that is made by the major film studios on a high budget and targeting a universal global audience. Mainstream films have visual appeal, high production values, and easy to market to audiences like comic book film. That will get you two marks. Um, an example of a one mark answer from the example would be something like this, a film that costs more to make. So very simple, that will probably just about get you one mark. Let's have a look at another two mark question. Briefly explain the function of the BBFC in the film industry. So to get full marks, two sentences, it is a non-government independent body which classifies cinema films videos and DVDs deciding on an age rating based on the film's content and the BBFC guidelines. Also providing parents with information if the film or films are appropriate for their children. So that's a good two mark question and should take you two minutes. For a one mark, you might just say it regulates films, doesn't give much detail and that'll probably just get you one mark. For a six mark question, you're going to have about six minutes. So what can you realistically do in six minutes? Probably one detailed paragraph or two mini paragraphs. So if you look at this question, explain two features of mainstream film production, refer briefly to Black Panther. So for example, your first point, you could talk about film franchises and cinematic universes and how that maximizes audiences. And then you can move on to budget, so big budgets and profit, a bit of Koran and Seaton in there. So, so two quick points using some of the theory. So remember, don't explain the theory, you're applying the theory. So if you're using the words maximize audiences, just put Hesman Dow in brackets. And if you're gonna say generating large profits, just put Koran and Seaton in in brackets, just so you're telling the examiner, I know the theory and now I've applied it. 
So for a 12 to 15 marks, you're looking at 12 to 15 minutes. What can you realistically do in 12 to 15 minutes? You're probably gonna do at least two paragraphs. Maybe you might be able to get a third one in. So if we look at this question, explain the ways in which social and political context may influence independent films. Refer to I, Daniel Blake, to support your points. So for example, your first paragraph, you could talk about social realism. Your second paragraph, you could talk about social issues and the narrative. And in the third paragraph, you could probably talk about the BBC remit, and you could also talk about the BFI rules for funding films. And then you could add a bit of Cran and Cetonair and diversity or diverse productions. So that's what you could realistically do in your 12 to 15 minutes for a question like this. So eight to 10 marks, you're looking at eight to 10 minutes, probably just two paragraphs. So if look at this um, past exam question. How do media producers target specialized audiences? Refer to the Assassin's Creed franchise, support your points. Well, your first paragraph, you might talk about an established fan base across uh, multi-platforms. So your Switches, your Xbox, your PC, your Playstations. You could also talk about Assassin's Creed 3 with the uh, female character, and then that might target female gamers. And your final paragraph, you could probably talk about um, Shirky and fan walkthroughs and videos and how the audiences have become producers themselves and they're speaking back to the producers of the game. So for a 10 mark question, 10 minutes. Realistically, what can you do in 10 minutes? Probably two paragraphs. And if you look at this radio example, explain the impact of media technologies on audience consumption of radio, referred to late night woman's hour to support your points. Your first paragraph, you're probably gonna talk about traditional broadcasts and DAB radio. And then you could talk about in your second paragraph, technological convergence and the BBC remit because the BBC has to push technology and be innovators of technology. That's part of their remit. They're talking about podcasts and where else you can listen to the, uh, the programme, not just a live broadcast. So that's something you could do within 10 minutes. So if you look at a 12 mark question, which would be about 12 minutes for newspapers. So realistically, two to three paragraphs in that time. Let's look at the question. Explain how ownership shapes media products. Refer to the Daily Mirror to support your points. So your first paragraph, you're probably gonna talk about Reach PLC because they own the Daily Mirror. You can talk about digital platforms, horizontal integration. Then you can move on to regional papers, Cran and Seton, so diverse business practices. And Reach PLC, they're not just about newspapers, they also do printing as well. They've worked with companies like Tesco and Argos. So quite a complex area, this one. So I do recommend you go and watch the Mrs. Fisher videos on this, and she'll give you lots of examples of regional papers and digital platforms and what else the company does. Finally, moving on to a 10 mark question, 10 minutes for advertising. So 10 minutes, realistically, probably two paragraphs. So look at the question, explain how historical context influence audience interpretations of media products. So refer to the Tide advert you have studied to support your points. So your first paragraph, you could do preferred reading or mainstream values in Gerdner and talking about context. So we're talking about the 50s. What was the preferred reading of this advert in that time period? And your second paragraph, you could do oppositional reading, how audience today would probably reject this advert. And the modern day Tide advert, especially the Super Bowl adverts, you often see lots of men using the products, not women. And they also have famous male actors using the products. So we have David Harbour from the Stranger Things TV show on Netflix. So he promotes the product. So this video and my previous two videos, see the link below in the description, gives you a basic overview of component one and what to do and how to answer the different types of questions that you might get.